But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And in that same note, you want us to also open uh, the book of Titus. 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 You want us to look at Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Um, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself a people for his own possession zealous for good deeds. I want to take you again to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 14. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 14. Who is given as a pledge of our inheritance with a view to the redemption of God's own possession uh, to the praise of his glory. Um, when you look at the three scriptures that we have read this morning, you will realize that there is a common uh, phrase in those three verses. And the fr uh, phrase is God's possession. God's possession. And today I just want to talk about that. God's special possession. God's special possession. And right away, I'll tell you that um, this re refers to believers or Christians, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Those are the ones called God's special position. How many of us, based on the description that I've given, believe that they fit in that category of God's special position? In... Uh, First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, when you read uh, the King James Version, it says, a peculiar people, peculiar, ukiangalia katika dictionary, inaiza manisha, hold or weird. Hold or weird. But in this context of the Bible, it doesn't mean hold or weird. Because hold or weird are negative connotations ni maneno ambayo yanatumiwa 
kusema mtu ni hot ama wea inasemekana huyu mtu ni wa kiajabu ajabu ni mtu anakaa mwenda wasizimu kidogo lakini biblia imaanishi hivyo ingawa king james inatumia peculiar in uh, uh, first peter chapter 2 verse 9 imaanishi the english uh, definition inamaanisha distinctive hallelujah and in other versions like uh, some of your versions it talks about god's special possession hallelujah and that is what was asking you in the beginning to think about something special in your life hallelujah or someone special why do you regard that person or that something as special hallelujah because then you will understand when the bible talks about you are god's special possession unajua wengi 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 kile ambacho ni special kwako ukizungumzia unasikia kulia unasikia kuishiwa na 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 pumzi i am god's special possession na possession ni nini? Possession ni chenye you own something that you own that is your possession you possess so special the word special means surpassing what is common or usual exceptional distinct among other kinds bwana asifiwe yani special inamaanisha inazidi ya kawaida hallelujah Nikisema fulani wa fulani ni special kwangu inamaanisha uhusiano wangu na yeye ni zaidi ya wengine. Bwana asifiwe. Ama unamaanisha anga nini ukisema eh, fulani ni special kwangu? Kwa sababu wanaishi kwamba huyu ni tofauti na wengine. Haleluya. Wengine wanaweza niacha lakini mama yangu wako na mimi. Bwana asifiwe. So special means inazidi ya kawaida exceptional hakuna ingine kama hiyo haleluya iko tofauti sana kwa hivyo nikisema wewe ni special kwa kwa hivyo usi, usitumiange hiyo jina ovyo ovyo ati pastor you know you are very special to me in what way na hata ukumbuka kangi kuniombea unanikumbuka tu ukiniona Don't use that word anyhow because it means it is very heavy. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kwa mapenzi tunaambiana, you know you are very special to me. Lakini pesa zikiisha, especially inaisha pia. Bwana asifiwe. But to God we are special possession. Bwana asifiwe. We are different from anything else. The way God views us, the way God kwa 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 Kiswahili nasema jinsi Mungu anavyotudhamini ni tofauti na viumbe vingine vyote. Haleluya. Kuna viumbe gapi katika existence? How many creatures do you know in the existence? There are so many. Bwana asipiwe. But over all that even the shining stars over the shining stars over the beautiful tausi You know you would think God will value Tausi more than us because it is so beautiful. It is, it is so beautiful. Yeah. Wengine wetu meno imeangalia juu, masikio imekaje, lakini Tausi inakaa perfect. But we are special possession to God. Bwana asifiwe. And even above that, among all the humans, we who belong to the house of God, we are special possession to God. Hallelujah. Mwambie jirani yako usinione hivi. I am God's special possession. Hata kama uone kama liko na sura nzuri kama sina hips ama muscles. The what makes us special possession? So in God's view we are we are uh, we are God's in in from God's point of view vile Mungu anatuangalia it doesn't matter how people describe us you know in this current world people are measured based on 
financial muscle. People are measured based on achievements. Kama ume umefaulu kimaisha ndio inasemekana wewe ni mtu wa maana. Kama wewe ndoa yako inafanya vizuri ndio inasemekana wewe ni mtu wa maana. Kama wewe watoto wako ni ni disciplined na wamesoma ndio inasemekana wewe ni mtu wa maana. Kama uko na biashara wewe ni mtu tajika bwana asifiwe. Sema mtu tajika. Na uandike hiyo mahali inamaanisha mtu mwenye yani ako na hadhi ya juu katika eh vile wanasiasa wengine saa hizi wanasema sisi tunatoka chini tunaenda juu sisi ambao baba zetu hawajulikani lakini kwa Mungu you are special position because of the blood of Jesus Christ haleluya Bwana asifiwe. It is only if you have believed in Christ and the blood of Jesus has been applied on you. It doesn't matter whether you have some money in the account. It doesn't matter how much education you have. It doesn't matter whether you are married or single. Whether you are married or single, if the blood of Jesus Christ has come in your life, you are God's special possession. Bwana asifiwe. Special possession. It doesn't matter where you came from. Your background. Wengine wende mlikuwa bad news kabla mjaokoka. Mlikuwa manga kwa kijiji, mlikuwa mnajulikana wezi kwa kijiji, mlikuwa mnajulikana kwa matusi na kupigana. Mali kuna vita lazima upatikane. Lakini sasa umenunuliwa kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. You are God's special possession. Haijalishi vile watu walikujua siku ile. So what makes us a special position? It is threefold according to the Bible. What makes us special God special position? This it is threefold. There are three reasons. Number one. Na reason number one is who purchased us? Why we are special position? I don't know why you regard whatever you have thought of as special. I don't know What is the reason that makes it special in your life? But I'll tell you why you are God's special possession. Number one, it is because of who purchased you. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu possession ni kitu ambacho ni chako. So when God says you are my special possession, by virtue of the word possession, it means God has purchased us. Bwana asifiwe. So by virtue of the fact that it is God who purchased me. That is why I'm his special possession. He but he purchased you. And what was your purchasing price? That is the reason number two why you are special possession. Your purchase price, our purchase price. Bill bwana sipio. So again we are special God's special possession not, not just because God is the one who purchased us but our purchase price what was our purchase price the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus so expensive blood of the son of God very expensive there is nothing else that has been bought with blood there is nothing else That is why we are so special to God. God cannot afford to let us get lost. God cannot afford because the price at which it took him to purchase us is very valuable. It's very expensive. Bwana asifiwe. He cannot afford to lose us. He cannot afford to see us get destroyed. He cannot afford to see us being stolen. We cannot afford to lose expensive things, right? Yeah. We can, we protect them. We can even hire the the most expensive security to protect that which is special. Bwana asifiwe. Yes, Go back again to what you thought of as special in your life. How valuable it is it to you? Do you protect it? Do you value it? Do you give it the due 
care and protection because special means also expensive. Number three reason why we are God's special possession. Number one, I've said it, it is because of who purchased us. That is God, the supreme being, the highest. Our purchase price, that is the blood of Jesus. And number three, we are God's special possession because of the reason why he purchased us. The reason why he purchased us. And what is the reason that God purchased us? Kwa nini mungu alitununua kwa bi ya the man of son? Iyo ndiyo sababu ingine kwa nini tuko special mbele za mungu. Number one is in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 14. Who is given as a pledge of our inheritance with a view to the redemption of God's own possession to the praise of his glory. Bwana asifiwe. One as if you. The reason number one why God purchased us is so we would praise and glorify Him. Hallelujah. Mungu alitununua kwa damu ya Yesu Christo. Alilipa na damu ya Yesu Christo. Ili tuweze kumtukuza. Ili tuweze kumsifu. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Wewe ukinunua kitu uh, kwa bei ambayo ni gali sana ya gharama sana una expect hiyo kitu ikuje isifanye kazi yenye ulinunulia una expect ikuje tu iaribike na ifanye kombo kombo you know sometimes you buy a machine so expensive you have invested your whole and then inakuja ku misbehave how do you feel can you look at yourself check yourself God purchased you with the blood of Jesus. So expensive. Are you doing the work that you were purchased for? Are you praising God and glorifying Him? Unapatia kazi pastor amze kukutafuta ufanye kazi ya mungu. Yenye ulinunuliwa ufanye. Si ujirudishe basi. Useme mungu chukua mbalipo yako. Lakini ya iweze kani? Wana asifiwe. Do you see how we sometimes are so unfair to God. Because how can God purchase us so that we can praise? That is the dip by default. It should be part of us that we have been purchased by the blood of Jesus. So naturally, we are praise materials. We are praise vessels. We are objects to praise God, to glorify God. Is it too hard? Is it a hard work? Unless, of course, you have not been purchased. Labda unajipendekeza. Kama umenunuliwa, unajua your work, and you know your work. Wana asifiwe. The reason number two God purchased us is in 1 Peter 2.9. And this is what makes us God's special possession. So if you are not praising and glorifying God, then I wonder what kind of a special possession you are. Because that was the purpose to which you were purchased to praise and glorify God. First Peter 2 9. The second reason. It says at the end of it, the, the, the last part, so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. One as if you. He purchased us so we can show others the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that we can become instruments of displaying the goodness of God. One as if you were. We are the objects. We are the, the agents to demonstrate to others who don't know God. Hallelujah. This is the embodiment of the goodness of God. And we are supposed to demonstrate that. People are supposed to see the goodness of God in us. Hallelujah. That is what we were purchased for. That is our purpose. That is our objective. That is what we were bought for. That is our reason for being God's special possession. Hallelujah. Wherever we are, we are supposed to display God's, God's goodness, God's love, God's kindness, God's forgiveness, God's attitude. Hallelujah. That is the purpose to which we were purchased. Number three, Titus 2.14. The last one. The reason why we were purchased. 
and that what makes us God's special possession. Titus 2.14, at the end of it, says, Who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself our people of his, good, uh, of his own possession, zealous for good deeds. This means another reason why we were purchased is to be totally committed to doing good deeds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Totally committed to doing good deeds. We were purchased by God using the blood of Jesus so that we can be totally committed to do good deeds. We do not do good deeds so that we can get salvation from God. That we have already gotten. Hallelujah. We do good deeds because that is the reason and purpose to which we were purchased. The reason and purpose to which God purchased us. Hallelujah. It is as a result of what God has instituted. It is as a result of what God has already done that we are motivated to do good deeds. One as if you will. Look at yourself. Are you accomplishing that purpose to which you are, you are bought? Number one, praise and glorify God. Number two, show others the goodness of God. Number three, committed to do good deeds. Are you, are you engaging in this? 